Where are the traders? Where? 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 If this is your first time coming on my channel, I would like to say a big thank you for tapping on this video. I share amazing value for people who are struggling traders who are trying to make money in the financial market. That's what I do. I'm a trader like you. My name is Oge and I'm an ICT slash SMC trader. Many of you know that. And today's topic is top down analysis. Many people take their trade analysis from a lower time frame and they lose money. But I'm going to show you how to conservate your money and be able to prevent a lot of stop losses if you know the main story from the higher time frame to the lower time frame. That way you'll be able to avoid unnecessary stop losses in the market. Today, I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, the Odrogos that are here, that are gaining this value. I want to say a big thank you for being here, for subscribing on my channel, for liking and commenting. I want to say thank you so much for being here and being my subscribers as a VIP. So before I forget, before I forget, please don't forget to tap on the subscription button. So subscribe. You see a red button below saying subscribe. You can subscribe, ask your questions. Or you want any topic that you want me to explain to you that you're not still feeling the the energy of that video you don't understand what i'm saying you can kindly ask your question on the comment section and i promise to actually explain and re-explain for you to actually comprehend more so tap on the subscription button and subscribe you're gonna get a lot of amazing videos from here become my odogo my odogo on this channel okay forex guide i have so much content to give out so don't forget to subscribe and gain some value so hello everyone now today's class or today's topic is top down analysis you can see it here top down analysis and this is what i'm going to use as my top down analysis this is my own kind of rule um don't forget any of my videos i do i try my best to always um give out rules that would have a beneficial effect on your trading now we start with all these rules and regulation to help with our trading now the first one we look for now is a breakout block okay you can see that here is a breakout block and that is on one month i now start my analysis on one month it kind of helped me know what the higher time frame the story is telling me in the chat now i look for all the other blocks these are like retracement if you go and check on a lower time frame they're like form of retracement a form of retracement in this area but this is a breakout block I look for the mitigation block is there any mitigation block inside here no a rejection block there is no any form of rejection but don't forget this is our breakout block but it's too big so we cannot mark it a fair value gap there's a fair value gap here but don't forget i have to use the fibonacci from here to here you can see it's it also in the premium don't forget your premium and your discount this is one month so i'm not going to mark it because it's a one month chart but this is a fair value gap i can try and put the line yeah because it's in a premium just remind me that is a fair value gap around here now i look for a liquidity void okay this is like a minor liquidity void but i won't take as a valid one but it's like a minor liquidity void which has to be filled up you can see a smaller one here also but i'll go for old lows and old highs i'm not seeing anyone in this direction but you can see this whole trend is also a bearish momentum there's also a break of structure or i'll say a change of character in that direction then i come down to one week one week is my story right one week is where the story is now this is a all i call it institutional reference points where i'm expecting the market to get to before it reacts on one month now for one week chart you can see there's an other block which is a fair value gap here this market reacted day it's just a normal reaction but we're going on a retracement so we should be looking for more of a buy you can see there's a break of structure here if I take my Fibonacci from here to here, you can see the premium and the discount. Now you come back to your rules and regulation. This is just a form of liquidity. Nothing happened here because it came out with a week. Your rules and regulation. Breaker. Is there a breaker block? No. Is there a rejection block? Mm, I would say no because there was no any form of noise here. Let me see. Hi, hi. I nothing broke out here, so there was no break of structure here. So this, this from here, from this candle here to down here is the whole break of structure. Let's see, because this week made this zone invalid, so it's from here to here that's the break of structure. 
so there's no rejection block is that other block yes the longest week i watched my previous video i indicated it there from here to here it is our other block fair value gap yes i have one tiny one here as a baby from here to here i always try to label my fair value gap i'm showing you guys the simplest way i do my own top down analysis so one week just remind me that this is the one week zone for a retracement and continue going so this is a buy the market is on a bullish momentum that's the energy the market is showing me but now if i look inside here this candle has closed the ring closed the body closed below this previous body so i'm hoping for a retracement that's a retracement old hold old lows or old highs no but do not forget i always tell myself this thing is what people it actually grabs you in the market and inducements so i'm very conscious of inducement so i go to one day okay i do not like forgetting my rules this guides me a lot in my trading now if you look at this retracement here this candle this body this body closed below this body this body closed below this body the body of this candle closed below this body so these are retracements okay let's see okay this week it did not come out with a body if i look at it very well it came out with a week so it made this week invalid so my break of structure is from here just to candle but i'll look at the voltage of the candle so i'll take it from here okay so i come back with my rules and regulation the rules don't forget it will guide you when you're analyzing your chart it will make it more easy for you is there a breaker block no is there a mitigation block no is there a rejection block hmm let's see i can take it on a rejection block but the week is not so out but no it is meant to be a three candle zone okay this can be a rejection block around here if in here almost near the other block then i look again but if you look at do not forget if you're drawing it from your one week perspective this is kind of in a premium zone so it should be kind of alert in that area other block i have marked one that looks like another block a fair value gap no liquidity void no old lows and old highs no an inducement around here you can see it i don't know how to mark it so you can see it here you see around here but i just use that as my own kind of reminder of what i'm doing in the chat then i come down to four hours you know this is one one day right this is a one day zone and you can see in one day zone if you just look inside it's a minor crazy fair value gap inside here which an inducement this week this week is there you can see an equal high this is how i analyze it tells like a story you are watching you can see an equal high here so market has to take other liquidity market has to take other liquidity so if you look at the chart again you come down with your rules is there a breaker block yes there's a breaker block which market reacted here market this is a breaker block market has not come yet to react in one but there's a change of character if you look again if you look at the whole chart on one four hours you can see here it's an equal high we don't be up uh, the, the liquidity in the market is there a mitigation block no is there a rejection block no is there another block this is another block i would have marked it but it's going to counterfeit the breaker block but this is an other block is there a fair value gap yes but i'm going to draw my fibonacci from the high to the low hmm. no fair value gap inside here but there's a liquidity void here and do not forget if you look inside here very well you can see that there was a break of structure here you see it there was a home of retracement here there was a form of retracement here liquidity void i just showed you old highs and old lows these are old lows market is coming to come and take out these are old lows these are old lows markets come to come and take out old lows old lows these are old lows market is coming to come and take out in a way these are old lows then i come down to my one hour one hour is my final story before I get my entry now on my one hour okay I like using the rules I hope you guys can take note of the rules it's going to help you a lot in your charts now this is liquidity being taken out you see liquidity if you look inside here you can see a double top inside this was liquidity market had taken out liquidity 
Now, if you, you don't forget, on four, one week where we when we do the um Fibonacci, this is a premium zone that we are struggling with. So we should be looking for confluences that gives us more of a sell momentum. Do not forget, on one week we knew that we're already in the premium. So we're waiting for a retracement either on four hours or one day to indicate that we're continuing the trend on the normal overall trend, which is from the one month to one week in a lower time frame. So we're looking for a bearish momentum trend. If you are taking out here, if you look at the breaker block in here, there's also a form of liquidity inside here. In the breaker block, this just to mark is to help you. Okay, liquidity has taken inside here. Okay. Then if I can reduce my risk here, this is a breaker block. But there's also a breaker block inside here, which market might come in and react in. Okay. So I'm looking to enter an entry from inside here. Around here is where I'll find an entry. But if you look inside very, very well, around this environment, you can see a mitigation block. Okay. The rules, don't forget, the breaker block, which was here. But if you look inside here, number two, mitigation block, rejection block, no. Other block is still a long big candle around here. You can see it here. Fair value gap. There's fair value gap inside here also. Liquidity void. This is a liquidity void. Which market is going to come and fill out 50% of it? My code will call it um, consequent encroachment. Market has touched 50% of the. That's the liquidity void. My coach always calls it consequent encroachment. Market always try to fill 50% of the liquidity void. Then I come in here for the old lows and old highs. These are the old lows, old lows, old lows, old lows. And these are the old highs, old highs. I'll try and do a video on it. Now I'm going to try to take my entry from around here. Since the higher time frame is giving me a more bigger story about the whole overall market. Now, if you look inside here very, very well, this liquidity taken. When market takes out liquidity, like when you see market taking out liquidity and it's going in an overall trend of your buyers, please, that trade is going to be sweet. Like it's going to be an amazing trade. Now, these are liquidity void. I can't remember where I'm marking from one week or one day around that environment. But I think I'll find my entry in 15 minutes. Now, in 15 minutes, you see, market has reacted. Oh, my rules. I do not go anywhere without these rules. I always write it in my chat to help me. And I hope it can help you too. Now, if you can see now, oh, God, is, where is the rules? Don't leave me rules. <laughs> so, you can see here, there's a break of structure here. Or I'll call it shift in market structure. There's a shift in market structure here. There's a mitigation block. If you know how to use this, it's going to be very sweet on your trade. Don't forget what the higher time frame is telling you. The higher time frame is your guide. So your, your sell, your buy shouldn't be much. The higher time frame is your guide. It should always guide you. No matter how you're trading, always follow the higher time frame. The higher time frame is your guide, which will bearish momentum. But this is just a form of staying in the trend for a short buy. All these zones, you can say I mark them from a higher time frame. They are being marked from a higher time frame. And this zone, I like using the one hour um, zone. I like using a higher time frame zone. Even though you're going to stay in this buy, your 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 entry, your staying in the buy shouldn't be long. It shouldn't be a long buy. Now, if you can see here, there is also a break of structure here. On the higher time frame. Let the higher time frame be your guide. I learned it in a hard way. Like, it humbled me a lot. Higher time frame buyers. Now, I've gotten carried away, right? But if you look inside here, this is why we all make, we get carried away. There was also a what? A break of structure in here with a body. You can see it. The body came in here. You can see that was a break of structure. You have to open your eyes to see it well or else it's going to swallow you. It has swallowed me a lot. Now, my, this is a breaker block. The breaker block is kind of very big. <laughs> a breaker block. I won't mark it. But that's a breaker block. Now, if you look inside here, if I draw my Fibonacci from here to here, this is the other block. A fair value gap inside here. So, what again am I looking for? Mm, a breaker block. And also, if you look inside here, 
there was also what a mitigation block inside here these are the zones you can find amazing for entry but what our higher time frame have told us if you can see this buy is not going to be a long buy do you see it's not a long buy why because from the higher time frame we have been told the higher time frame are giving us the overall story that okay oh, we are on a bearish momentum we are on a bearish momentum so we should be looking for more of a what a buy i'm sorry more of a sell because from one week we realized that we're on a bearish momentum now if you can see it here break of structure your other block other block you can see it here just following these rules alone other block what again even though you want to you want to grab some juice extra juice you can see mitigation block here we might get reacted to to continue to the zone if you are if you are those that trade 15 minutes or a lower time frame you can use that as your own um your own grabbing of profits or your own um way of trying to counter trend let me use that word so you don't forget the higher time frame is warning you the higher time frame have told us from one week from one month that we're already on a bearish momentum from one day and four hours there was already a change of character or a shift in character you can see here so you can actually take this also this amazing buy this changed my charting entirely like it changed the way i look at the market entirely and you know that your take profit is around here this other block you know that you're running away one one to two these rules it can help you a lot you know where your inducement is these are inducements that is here these are inducements the market took in that is liquidity if you have watched all the videos i did i'll try to do more on it and boom you're out of the market so i hope this rule can help you on how you analyze your top down analysis try to follow the rules and regulation on all your charts and you'll be amazed at the transformation of how your trade is going to change so please don't forget to tap on the subscription button below my name is Oge forex guide i'm here to help you that do not have a coach on how to analyze this market smoothly sweetly and very well so kind of the subscription button and subscribe um ask questions or anything you do understand i try my best to reply everybody one by one on the comment section so please ask your questions and i will reply you thank you very much